Hello everybody, Breeze Cards here with a special edition of my top 100 cards from the 1990s. I did one for the 80s uh, based on Mike Payne's book, or uh, the magazine, the Beckett magazine. He wrote the article, The greatest, the 1980s 100 Greatest Cards. And then he also, he also has a book of the 300 Great Cards um, <clears throat> by Mike Payne. This is the 1990s, kind of a list I did, a lot of research on eBay, getting the most expensive cards sold on eBay or selling for. So to start off on the list is 1993 SP Foil Rookie Card of Derek Jeter. Uh, it's number 279, and at one point this card sold for $99,100. You know, of course, that's a Gem Mint 10, which is very rare because of the foil. Here's another copy of it. Uh, you know, again, the grading is, is tremendous for the value. At number two is the another Derek Jeter. This is number two. Now, this is the 1996 Select Certified Mirror, but this is the silver version. The gold version is the one that sold for the big bucks at $50,000. This is card number 100. This is the silver. And it's uh, you can see it's certified on the back. There's a certif uh, certified number there. At number three, one of the most iconic and famous error cards of all time, is a 1990 Big Hurt No Name Era card, Frank Thomas, uh, card number 414. This card sold for $24,000, uh, actually $24,244 on eBay. Uh, the reason why is that Tops would quickly correct it with, with his name. So it's very rare to get the No Name. I have a bunch of these uh, with the name corrected. Obviously not, obviously not as uh, rare by any by any means, you can get these for a couple bucks on eBay. Next up is number four. Now, I tried to get this many times on eBay, actually. The Topps Desert Shield rookie card of Chipper Jones, one of the greatest, uh, the top greatest third baseman to ever play the game. In the 90s, he was probably the premier. Uh, you know, Wade Boggs was more of an 80s, 90s. Um, Brett was more 80s. Schmidt was more 80s. Beltre was a little bit later on, and you know, of course, the the you know Brooks Robinson was the seventies, all those third basemen. But but in the nineties, uh, Chipper Jones, he was an unbelievable, and this, that's the reason why he was a number one draft pick. And in a Desert Shield, this card sold for fifteen thousand one hundred dollars. This is not the Desert Shield, unfortunately. And uh, of course, I have a couple of those. And uh, if anybody's interested in trading or buying or anything, let me know. Breeze cards. Please like and, and subscribe to my channel. I just started doing this. I did an, Like I said, I just did a video on the 80s. Here is the Topps Gold um, Derek Jeter. This is the 1993 Topps Gold Insert Derek Jeter, number 98. And this card sold for $14,955 on eBay. And... There's another one of the gold. And here is the regular version of it. And I have a lot of these, so. Moving on to the next card is the 93 finest refractor of uh, Ken Griffey Jr. And this card sold for $14,707 on eBay. The, the insert Derek Jeter I just showed you sold for $14,995. At number seven, and this is a very, very expensive card because it's very hard to get in top condition because of the die cut, and the, the, especially the top corners. This card's in very good condition, but there's a little, little glitch on the tiny, tiny glitch on the upper left-hand corner. Uh... But in a Gem Min 10, this is the 1994 Upper Deck SP Die Cut Alex Rodriguez, number 15. This quote sold for $14,000 in a Gem Min 10. I do have the regular SP in an 8. And that sold for $13,600 in a, in a Mint 10, though. This is only an 8. So Next up, at number 9 on my list is the 1993 Stadium Club. And again, I don't, because this isn't a package, it's getting a lot of, there you go. Uh, the 1993 Stadium Club, Derek Jeter. And that sold for, the number 117, sold for $12,000 in a Gem Mint 10. This card is actually 
probably real close to a gem in 10. And next we have the 1990 George Bush at number 10. Uh, the Tops USA George Bush, very rare to get. They gave these to these soldiers, I, I believe, in um, in the uh, Persian Gulf. De uh, I believe it was Desert Shield. And um, the Desert Shield one is actually really expensive. This is the number uh, USA one. They sold for $7,667 in a gem mint 10. All right, on to the next pile at number 11. And I, don't, I know my videos seem to be long. Uh, this is the Bowman Mariano Rivera rookie sold for $7,725. The 90s, we'll do it faster now. The 96 Leaf Studio Press Silver, number 33, sold for $4,800 on eBay and Gem Mint 10, of course. Here's an error card that, that was selling for and sold for actually a lot. I don't know why. I don't, I don't know why anybody would buy this card because of a, a wrong error birth date. But th that's the reason why it sold for $4,725 of Jose Uribe. That's the, that was the Fleer 1991. This card is uh, very rare. And this card is in a Mint 8. But in a Gem Mint 10, the 1992 Little Sun High School, Derek Jeter number 2, sold for $4,772. Next up is the 93... Finest Refractor, Nolan Ryan, and that sold for uh, number 107, so $3,558 on eBay. At number 16 is the 1993, and very difficult to get in uh, pure uh, sharp corners with the foil, a gem mint 10, very difficult to get, and that's why this card sells sold for $3,001 on uh, eBay. The 1993 Upper Deck SP Foil, Chipper Jones, number 280. Number 17, the ion iconic short baseball career, the rookie 1991 Upper Deck. I'm trying to get it. Ah, oh, there you go. Uh, Michael Jordan and his short baseball stint. S number SP1. This card sold for $2,599 on eBay. And here's another copy of it. All right, next up, uh, number 18 is the score, the iconic score, uh, 1990 Bo Jackson with the baseball bat and shoulder pads. And this card, that makes that iconic. I have, you know, more copies of them. Uh, that's card sold for uh, an agenda in 10, $2,500, $2,500. And here is a another card, and I'm sorry for the lighting here. is the 1990 Topps Ken Griffey Jr. Gold Cup era. And they, they say it's an era now. This is another one that people are, it's kind of might be a gimmick uh, or, or they're trying to get away with a lot here. There's a, it's got a scab here and they're saying that's an era. You know, I have two copies of them. One actually does look a little bit redder than the other. More of a cut. Um, but, People are selling it on eBay for a lot of money because of the scab. And it sold for $2,500 on eBay. Uh, next up is the gold hologram. The upper deck gold hologram. Derek Cheater rookie card. Uh, 1996 tops, And that sold for um, $2,250 on eBay. Number 447. Alright, that's the top 20. Uh, number 21, I'll go through it faster. Uh, 21 would be the Topps Future Stars Gold. Um, Derek to your number 80, sold for $2,247. Here's uh, the 1990 Dunruss era of Nolan Ryan. And the era is that it says Dunruss, King of Kings. And that's an error. The... the the, the real copy has his name. Uh, this is the 5,000 strikeouts. Lynn Nolan Ryan. Okay. I have a bunch of them. And then they, they here's another, the base. The, and then there's actually produced a King of Kings. 
and this actually has a name on it. So the error is here. The error is the King of Kings. And that sold for uh, $2,199. Next up at number 20, uh, next up anyway, it's the 1994 Collector's Choice Michael Jordan. And I'm really sorry about this glare here. That's why we got to get some kind of a studio. <laughs> Uh, sold at number 661, sold for $2,000, and, and it's pretty cool. I have a uh, bunch of these copies here, and that sold, as I said, is shooting a baseball, Michael Jordan. And this card I just threw in there is up close and personal, Michael Jordan. Next up is the 1990 Leaf, Sammy Sosa, one of the greatest power hitters of all time, his rookie card shown bunting, and that card sold for $1,500 on eBay. Next up is the 1995. And we're getting through We're getting through our top 30. 1995 Tops Finest with the coding. Derek Jeter, card number 274, sold for $1,200. Next up is the 1990 Leaf. Big Hurt rookie, Frank Thomas, number 300, sold for $1,199 on eBay. And otherwise known as David Ortiz, but in, in his rookie year, in his baseball card, he was David Arias. And this is 1997 Fleer Ultra, David Arias, number 518 rookie card at $1,051. It sold on eBay in a gem mint 10. Here is a 1990 era card of Ken Griffey Jr. Again, people are getting trying to get away with too much, I believe. And if you look closely over here, there's no there's no um, period after the ink incorporated, and I have the corrected one too. You have to look really close. But again, people are trying to get away with a lot selling as a as an error card. I you know I don't really buy it. But it did sell for $2,500. Here's a 1990 Tops insert. 1999, I'm sorry. 1999 uh, Tops insert. and uh, Or is it 1990? Might be 1990. It was the last number seven Mickey Mantle card uh, produced. Everything else is considered. In they do insert some. But this sold for. This is an iconic card. It sold for $1,000 on eBay. Then we have the Bernie Williams rookie card with the error of uh, no period after the ink again. And people s were selling it for $1,000. And they corrected it on these. Won't spend too much time getting into that one. All right, well, that's our top 30. At 31, we have the Gem Mint 10 Fleer update. Uh, Mike Piazza. The Fleer Update, Mark, uh, Mike Piazza, number is U92, sold for $999 on eBay. Next up is the, out of 2,500, autographed Reggie. This is the Upper Deck UD Heroes Auto, 25 out of 2,500, Reggie Jackson. That sold for $795. Here is a SP Foil. The SP Foils are, are, are really great cards there because they're so hard to get in a gem mint 10. That's why they sell for so much. This card, the SP Foil 93, uh, Manor Ramirez rookie card in a gem mint 10, sold for $766. Next up is a 93, or sorry, 92 Bowman, Mike Piazza. This is in a nine, but in a 10, uh, card number 44, this sold for $700. And I just threw this in there too. The prospects, Mike Piazza. Um, next up, oh, I guess I, I'm giving you guys a bunch of bonuses here, all, all Piazza rookies. Don't know why I did this. Gold Cup. Anyway, next is 1992 Bowman. Pedro Martinez, number 82, in a gem mint 10, and this sold for. $670 on eBay. And there's the 92 Topses, but these aren't worth much. 
1991 gold leaf, and this is in a mint nine, Mike Messina in a 10, the 91 gold leaf sold for $500 on eBay. And here is the Topps Gold number one draft pick, Manor Ramirez. And the Golds, number 156, sold for $400 on eBay. Here's what, here's what it looks like. Usually red. And too many of these to go through. If anybody's interested, mail it to you. 1991 Bowman. Chipper Jones comes in next. Uh... And that sold for the nineteen one ninety one Bowman Chipper Jones sold for four hundred dollars on eBay. And again, giving you guys some bonuses with Chipper Jones rookies. Here's the prospects. 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 There's another prospects. He had two, huh? Yeah. He had two prospects cards. One's is a shortstop. Are they both shortstops? Let me just check that. Yeah, both shortstops. He ended up he ended up playing third base. Ninety three XL Derek Jeter. And this is in a mint nine. The XL Derek Jeter sells for. If I can find it. It's got to be around $400 because in this part. All right, next up is the another SP foil, Derek G, uh, sorry, Javi Lopez. And this card's in really good condition. In a mint 10, the SP foil Javi Lopez rookie card number 280 sold for $375 on eBay. All right, so that's the top 40. Sorry, guys. We'll get through it. Uh, here we go. At, uh, so number at number fifty, that was the top forties. At number fifty is the. And this is in a ten, the Jeff Bagwell rookie, and this is this is the. Tops traded. No, this is the Stadium Club ninety one. The Stadium Club Jeff Bagwell sold for about three hundred and fifty dollars on eBay in a gem mint ten. And then this is the tops traded. And I know when the Tiffany is sold for, that's the thing, guys. I don't have the Tiffany's and the Desert Shields. Those are the expensive ones. And this sold for is a Tiffany, $350 on eBay. Here's an error card to show you. This is the Donruss 1990 rookie card error, John Smoltz. And you can see that is Tom Glavin. And this card's rare to get because it was taken off the market really quickly I'm trying to get you out of that glare it was taken off the market really quickly and replaced with the real john smoltz but the rook the error card sells for 350 dollars on ebay next up is the collector's choice alex rodriguez and they had this in in gold and silver signatures those are the expensive ones this is the base i'm just showing you so you get an idea the future choice alex rodriguez gold signature sold for 370 dollars on ebay that's just the base so that card is really worth nothing i just wanted to show you here is the gem mint 10 91 bowman cowder Jr. card number 104 believe it or not this card sold for on ebay $350 and I don't know why. It's not a rookie card. It's not it's not a, anything special. So I'm going to look into that. This is a uh, a set. This is the the in 1990 uh Topps did a glossy set and it's numbered out of 20. Uh I'm sorry, numbered out of 60. This is 60. So this is, this is a 60 card set. This is number 20 out of 60. And Ken Griffey Jr. sold for $299 in a gem mint 10. Next up is the Pinnacle Rookie, Manor Ramirez. And the Pinnacle Rookie, Manor Ramirez, uh, 1992, sold for $280 in a gem mint 10 on eBay. The iconic uh, 
rookie card, the Bowman rookie of Ivan Rodriguez. Card number 101T sold for $261 on eBay. Next up is the 93 Tops Traded Bazooka USA, Todd Helton, and this is in a Gem Mint 10. And uh, that sold for $250 on eBay. Next up is 1993, also sold for $250. This is, but this is in a Gem Mint 9, so it's not going to be as much. But a good, a good buck. Uh, Derek Jeter Bowman, 1993, considered a rookie card, sold for $250 on eBay. Next up is the 1992 Bowman rookie of Chipper Jones, number 25. And that card's also sold for $250. This is in, in the package. If I take it off, you can get a better look. Mm, the glare is bad, guys. I apologize. I'm new to this. The next up is the 1992 Fleer Update rookie card and this card is also rare to get because it's an update any update is rare to get this is number u104 uh 1992 fleer jeff ken this card sold for 211 dollars in gem mint 10 this is a nine so not as expensive all right now we're up to we did 10 20 30 40 50 now we're into the 60s uh number 61 is the 19 This is the 1992 first row draft pick Derek Jeter sold for in a gem mint 10, $200 on eBay. Here's one another one of those, those signature cards. This is not the gold or the silver signature. In the gold signature, I'm sorry, actually in the silver signature, this 94 collector's choice uh, silver, card number 119, Ken Griffey Jr. sold for $200 on eBay. And I'm surprised that this card sold for so much on eBay. It's a minor league card. It's it's not really a big deal. It's a 1992 Upper Deck Minor League Trevor Hoffman, card number 105, and it sold for $200 on eBay, or was selling for. I looked it up. Here is the Gold Cup Billy Wagner rookie, second year card, and that also made my list because that card is a 1992 Topps Gold. It sold for $200 on eBay, or, or was selling for. Considered to be an error card, because of the hand over the border, and that's actually Jerome Walton, and they also did it with Mike Witten. The Jerome Walton sold, and the card number 135 sold for $200 on eBay. It was a 1990 uh, rookie card or second year card of Kurt Schilling. I think it's a second year card, but it still sold for $180, card number 97, $180 on eBay. Another feature foundation uh, signature series. Uh, this time it's Jeter. And the Jeter uh, sold for 100, the gold signature sold for $172 on eBay. 1990 Tiffany Larry Walker uh, sold for $155 as a rookie card on eBay. The Tops Tiffany. The Topps Tiffany Sammy Sosa sold for number card number 692 sold for $152 on eBay in a gem mint 10. Here is the regular Topps. And here is a minor league top prospect, Chipper Jones. To round out this pile, and this sold for $150, card number 165. All right, so that's 10, 20, 30, 40, 56. I got them all in piles at number 70 or 71. And so I have to list this off a little bit, guys. This is the SP uh, 93 SP Ken Griffey, and in a Gem Min 10. This sold for $150. The SP foil, again, these SP foils. This is Johnny Damon in, in, an S, in a Gem Mint 10. 
This card sold for hundred how much? Hundred and forty seven dollars. Here is a Gem Mint 10 SP Foil. This is a 94 SP Foil. Actually, that's, yeah, that's in a 10, right? That's in a 10. And that's sold for $145 on eBay. I actually have two copies of it. This one's in an 8. Next up is the Metal Universe. 1996 Metal Universe, Alex Rodriguez. And these Metal Universes are also very rare. Uh, and this card sold for $140 and a Gem Mint 10 on eBay. Next up, uh, they had this All-Star set. This is the Fleer Ultra. And this, this is one of the... This and the Ripken were the most expensive in that little set. I actually have the set, but it's actually better to break, uh, break them up. It's actually more costly. This is the number eight out of 20. This is a set of 20 in the Flare Ultra 1994 set. And this card, a uh, Gem Mint 10, sold for $140 on eBay. Next up, the 1991 in a Mint 9 Final Edition Upper Deck rookie card, the true rookie card of Pedro Martinez. And that sold for $140 in a Gem Mint 10. I wish I can get rid of that glare. All right, next up, 1992. And a Gem Mint 9 rookie card of the one of the greatest relief pitchers of all time, Trevor Hoffman. That sold for $138,000 on eBay. Next up is the Topps debut, Ken Griffey Jr. This is in a Mint 9. And this sold for $130 on eBay. The Collector's Choice, number one draft pick. Billy Wagner, and that sold for $130 on eBay. All right, getting on to the next pile. And we got it here. So these will be the 80s. Card number 81 is a rookie. So actually, I think this is a four sport draft pick classic 1992. Derek Jeter. And that sold that sold for $1992, $125 on eBay. Next up is the 1994 Dunruss rated rookie. And that's Manny Ramirez, a Gem Mint 10. That sold at card number 322, sold for $124 on eBay. So we're getting down to the lower budget cards, but still good for 90s. I'm going to do a 70s video soon. This is the Score Select Dark Year, card number 300, 1992. Considered a rookie card, and this sold for $120 and a Gem Mint 10 on eBay. Uh, 1992 Tops Traded, USA. No more Garcia Power. Card number 395, sold for $120 on eBay. A Gem Mint 10, this is an 8. And here's that Mark Witten over the border... His hand is over the border. Uh, so people try and say there's an error. I know there's one actually where it's in the white. That's the real error. But it's still over the border. Uh, but over the white is the real big error. And that sold for $115 on eBay. A gem Next up is the Topps 1993 gold. Billy Wagner and the gold. Card number 209 was selling on eBay for $100. The... Base card is actually with a blue. No, this is the gold, actually. See, it says Tops Gold on the top. The one I just showed you is the base. It says Tops Gold right there. So that's what makes it more rare. The Tops Gold, Billy Wagner sells, selling for or sold for $100 on eBay. Next up is an error card. Uh, and they put, they spelled his name wrong, Billy, uh, Kerry Cal Ripken with an I, and we all know it's spelled with an E. And there's another one I have. I don't have it. Do I have it here? Yes. Well, they also did that twice, but this is in a gem mint nine, the player of the decade. This is Fleer, 1990 Fleer, and this sold for $100. They corrected it. There's the Ripken with the E. 
but if I could find it, I think I might have put it in this pile here. I did, and ones to show you, but here is another one. This is a stadium club, Cal Ripken, and on the back, again, they spelt it with an I. So this is another error, stadium club. That's an error card. I'm going to show you guys that at the end. It's a bonus. All right, next up is the, here's a Topps Gold Greg Maddox. And that's sold for $100 on eBay in a Gem Mint 10. Here is a score rookie, uh, Derek Jeter. And that sold for $99 on eBay. The Fleer 1990 rookie, Larry Walker, also sold for $99 on eBay in a Gem Mint 10. And now we get on to the next pile. We're getting down the list. Sorry, I'm not counting them off. Is the this is a the tops card number two twenty when Mark McGuire broke and then really smashed it. Thank you, um, Roger Maris's uh, 60, 60 home runs. He hit, so he hit sixty plus ten, seventy home runs to break the record and still holds it. For a single season. And this card sells for or sold for $99 on eBay. Next up is a this is the Nomar Garcia Power Tops Future Stars. And I'm a little bit out of order right now. So this card must have sold for somewhere around that, that, that price. So somewhere around $100. The Sammy Sosa, 91 tops. Not sure why this sold for so much, but this sold for $75. I don't know why. I figured this one would sell for more of the Fleer. But anyway, here is a, here's another one of those. The Fleer Ultra All Stars. That's Kyle Ripken. That sold for seventy. The ninety one Bowman, Nolan Ryan sold for seventy dollars in a Gem Mint ten. Here's a Pacific. I got a lot of these Pacifics. I like the one with the blood on it. I have it somewhere. I gotta pull it. Gold, uh, silver, Saint should Don Mattingly. Um, the tops, this made the list, the 91, 90, 90, no, 93 tops, Ken Griffey Jr. card number 179, this actually made the list, and a Gem Mint 10, I don't know why, this sold for $68. The 25th anniversary, Hank Aaron, 715 home runs, tops, and a Gem Mint 10 sold for $65 on, on eBay. Here's a Maglia Ordonez. This card actually sold for auto. Sold for $60 on eBay. And the last pile, 90 to 100, 91 to 100. We got the Mike Piazza with the Minor League San Antonio Missions. That sold for uh, $63. The Topps Gold Prospects, Derek Jeter. Bottom right, the two of these. And that sold for $60. $60. The limited edition of Derek Cheater out of $2,500. And this is him in high school. Kalamazoo Central High School. Giants. And I think that other card I showed you was him in high school then. Yeah, because he... I think he could have went to Michigan, but he ended up going right to the pros. Here is Jace, Jason Giambi's USA Auto Card. That's 1991. His rookie, and it's an auto, card number 457, sold for $55 and a Gem Mint 10 on eBay. And here's one without the auto. Then a lot of Jeter is now rounding out the top 100, and this is him, the tops, uh, I'm sorry, upper deck, 92 draft pick, card number five, sold for $50 on eBay and a Gem Mint 10. And then these prospect cards, sold for $50. On eBay, two of those. The 
second year Ivan Rodriguez Gold Cup sold for uh, actually $56 on eBay. The This classic edition of uh, 23 karat gold Hank Aaron limited edition in a gem mint 10 and that sold for $50. And then I threw this in there and I looked, I cannot believe this, but a 1991 Topps Archive insert of the 53 Maze actually sold for, I cannot believe this, $149. And then to end out the top 100 of the 1990s, according to eBay, in my collection. And again, this should be a silver signature, Johnny Damon. This is the base card, but with the silver signature, it sold for $399. I didn't put it in there because I don't have it as a silver signature. But that ends the list, but I just want to throw some bonuses quick. Um, when Ripken had the consecutive game record, that's a tops. This is a Fleer. Winfield 400 Club. I put. I just put this in as a bonus. There was a, some errors. The Greg Nettles had the vulgarity. And then, sorry, Jim Nettles. On the bat, he tried to pull a Billy Ripken with the vulgarity on the knob. This will get you a couple bucks. I, I showed you the Ripken error on this card. The I-N at the end instead of E-N. Uh, Juan Gonzalez, ultra update. And Jim Min 10, you know, this is a rookie card. I thought this could make the list. You know, the number one draft picks of Frank Thomas, the big hurt I thought could have made the list. Some other rookie cards of Jeter, I thought could have made the list. A number one draft pick auto of Mike Messina, I thought could have made the list. A Bowman rookie of Damon, I thought. Ultra Fleer rookie of Pedro Martinez, I thought could have made the list. I guess it's because it, it wasn't 91. It was, at, it was way after 91. And the Pettit rookies, I thought. Some Pettit rookies and some Hoffman rookies. I showed you the other Hoffmans uh, and the prospects of A-Rod. I thought could have made the list. But I did the 80s and here's my 90s. And I'm sorry for the glare, guys. Please like and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to do a 1970s uh, pretty soon. Uh, I just dropped one here. A Man and Ramirez. Tops. But anyway, guys, really appreciate you watching. I know this is a long video. It's 37 minutes long, but... Breeze is signing out. Breeze cards. Please like and subscribe. Watch my 80s video. And this is my 90s. Uh, I'm going to do 70s real quick because the 70s is really easy. Uh, you know, the 70s is just tops. With the, with the 80s and 90s, you have Dunruss, Fleer, Tiffany, Desert Shield. Uh, Dun I said Dunruss. Oh, so many different brands. Score. So many different brands. Um, you know, Ultra Fleer. Just way too many, but... The 70s is going to be easy to do the top 100 because it just tops. So I'm going to work on that tonight. Maybe I'll get it out to you guys tomorrow. Thanks. Breeze signing out.